Hello, my name is David Nicolosi and I'm from the LSU Rural Life Museum. I'd like to show you a couple artifacts that we have here at the Rural Life Museum. I have two pieces and one's going to help me demonstrate the other. I have a cap and ball pistol and it's going to help me to demonstrate how this old-fashioned trap works. Now, the way a pistol of this period worked is you would pour the powder down the bottle, barrel and you would take your ramrod, put your ball inside here, which is your bullet, and you would ram it down on inside, return your ram. You would take your hammer, go to half cock, put your cap on inside, and when you pull the trigger, the bullet is going to fire out of the barrel. Now the trap I have here works in a very similar manner. Uh, this is the Rutherford trap. The patent is uh, 1857. And the way it works is along the same principle. You have two barrels here, right around 30 caliber, and you'll put your balls inside, ram your balls down, and then you have two nipples here with caps that would go on. And when the trap is set, this pulls, this piece here is your hammer, will pop down on your nipples and your caps, firing these two rounds out of the barrel, killing whatever you're trying to trap. Now the way this works is, in our instance, we're, we're looking for alligators. We're down here in South Louisiana. So we're gonna find a bayou and a branch that's kind of hanging right over the water. And we're going to take this trap here and we're going to hang it on a simulated branch. Now, if you notice these little spikes here are very sharp, They're almost like a hook, so anything that grabs it is going to get caught on it. So you're going to stick your meat right into these little two hooks here, and you'll hang it right over the water. Now I've got Mr. Boudreau down here as my demonstrator, and when he comes up, he's going to have to grab the trap this way to pull the meat. And when he pulls this out, it's going to set off the hammer and shoot two balls right into his head. And when you come back, you're going to have an alligator waiting on you. If you like what you saw here today, like our page and get notifications for our YouTube page. You can also find us on Facebook. And come out to the Rural Life Museum and visit us and see all the interesting things that we have out here.